it's a high corrosive. Uh, it's an inhal inhalation hazard. Um, it robs the oxygen out of the air as well as the moisture. You cannot breathe it. It's a very, very highly potent. And that's why emergency personnel were concerned about the situation in Stewartson just before 6 Tuesday morning. They say a truck offloading approximately 20 and a half tons of anhydrous ammonia encountered a problem unloading the compound. That problem caused the truck to release almost all of the product into the air and on the ground. We have evacuated approximately 200 people. The cloud of gas created an obstacle for responding fire departments. It's a really helpless feeling to stand there and look at a cloud and know there's people on the other side, but you can't get to them. First responders say anhydrous ammonia, when inhaled directly, has the potency to cause major respiratory damage. It's truly really irritating. Uh, it burns your eyes. You can't see. You can't breathe. You, if you're around anhydrous ammonia, you know you. It's not a surprise. You know immediately. Officials say about 30 people went to the hospital for minor respiratory issues. Emergency responders say it took three hours to contain the fumes. And Stewartson Mayor Paul Antrim says the town couldn't have been in better hands. Knowing that the appropriate people were in appropriate places, um, that was a relief for me. In Stewartson, I'm Kaylee Custer for WEIU Newswatch.